Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? Salute to everybody in the Battle Rap community, man. It's your boy, Acito. Hitman Holler went into the live spaces, okay? And he brought a special guest. He been talking about this since yesterday. Special guest, no other than Beasley, man. Beasley, you know what I'm saying? It kind of made sense, because I'm like, it can't be ARP, because ARP already done been in the spaces and shit. But wow. I ain't gonna lie, it wasn't that detrimental to the point where I thought I was gonna look at Verb differently you know what i'm saying a lot of the shit kind of was just like reassurance verb be lying i already know that verb be over exaggerating i already know that you know what i'm saying like it was nothing really like crazy to me that warranted me to look at verb differently or look at hitman high or anything if anything if anything for me beasley going into spaces with hitman holler it kind of it kind of told me two things let me know what y'all think it, it told me it, it told me two things murder mook versus hitman is definitely still on the table to have whether gerald mccoy is in, involved i don't know because gerald's been taking a lot of bullets with this whole situation and hitman holla can be the bridge to kind of mend the relationship or kind of just make things kind of better between rbe and url i think if anybody can do it it's hitman holla man it's Hitman. Hitman got an excellent relationship with ARP. And from what I've seen and what, you know, him and Beasley said, they have a pretty good relationship. You know what I mean? So I, for, to see Hitman, you know, willing to go on URL and battle and that they've been talking behind the scenes for a while, that gives me good hope, man. This is what the culture needs, especially for URL being so dominant and being one of the pillars of the battle rap community. You know, they need some big superstars to come over there and kind of revamp and bring some of the eyes back to the table, man. Because a lot of they got a lot of dope talent over there in URL. A lot of those, you know, uh, crucible guys. I'm talking from like the Wu Sides, the Bennis, the Eunice, Foots, Safair Soul. Uh, who else they got over there? Um, Capo. Like a lot of those guys are fired. And they got a lot of new guys coming in. And then you got the guys, you know, like the Kid Slades. Uh, who else? Snake Eyes. Uh, shit. Uh, it's, it's a lot of guys over there, man, that just, I feel like they've had a shot, but URL has just been struggling with trying to keep the momentum over there. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that, that told me a lot as far as right there. But boy, <laughs> Beasley pretty much was just like, yo, he don't know what the hell is wrong with Verb. You know what I'm saying? He don't know what's wrong with Verb. Verb, I guess Verb came to them with a proposal that he wanted to work with URL and kind of be the catalyst that brought new talent to the table. You know what I'm saying? And he basically told them, he's like, listen, I could bring y'all, I could bring y'all battles and new talent and guys will do it for cheap because they rock with me. So basically he kind of taking a little something off the top. You know what I'm saying? Like URL, I could book you so-and-so, I could book you Frozen Bird, you know what I mean? five thousand dollars cheaper he gonna do it on the strength of me because i'm asking and url beasley's on some shit like i don't know if i want to give a guy like verb that type of power you know what i'm saying before they even considered to making the deal happen this nigga done went in his spaces already and started prematurely saying that he was going to be working for url <laughs> you know what i'm saying and when it didn't happen it made him look super super crazy so beasley's like that could have been one of the reasons hell he don't know he also broke down the whole swamp situation. You know what I'm saying? Verb pretty much asked Beasley for some bread, basically as a down payment to assure that the battle was going to happen with Swamp. And I, I remember Verb did say that. He didn't say the amount, but he did say, "Yo, Beasley, just send me something. Send me thousand. Send me whatever. Just so I know that it's locked in, because I'm in negotiations right now with ARP with this uh, A War battle. And I guess you know." Beasley didn't have a contract and he was waiting to get the budget from uh, from caffeine at the time. So he didn't want to kind of promise anything because, you know, he didn't know what, what could happen. And, you know, Verb went ahead and did this uh, the A-War battle. Beasley ain't feeling no type of way. But I don't know, man. It is crazy just to see this nigga Verb just for like a whole year campaign just smearing this nigga name. And I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm going to tell you one thing, man, that uh, Beasley said, bro. He said, yo, Verb, you got three options, right? Because Verb kept saying how 
Beasley owes him money. Beasley's like, okay, we could cut all the bullshit, right? If I owe you money, have your lawyers contact my lawyers and we can handle it in the courts. You don't want to handle it that way? Just come, you know, just come holler at me. Pull up on an event. Pull me to the side. Yo, Bees, you owe me such and such a, we can go over the paperwork and we can figure it out. Or, or you could come get this shit in blood. You basically, you would come holler at me. If I feel like my back is against the wall and I feel like I'm being, you know, my my my, je my life is in jeopardy or I feel like I need to defend myself, you're going to get everything you've been asking for. Everything. Meaning he going to beat your ass. <laughs> basically, that's what he said. That's basically what fucking Beasley said, yo. And he iterated this shit three times, which was hilarious to me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm curious to see what the fuck Verb going to say. But, yo, that, I mean... <laughs> He pretty much just put it out there on the table, bro. He put it out there on the table. And it's crazy because BZ ain't really like, he ain't really like go crazy on Verb how he really could have, you know, especially with Verb speaking so crazy about him saying he's smashing uh, Casey J and, you know, saying all types of crazy shit, you know what I mean, about Beasley and the company. But, you know, Beasley be pretty much was just like, bro, I don't know what this guy's problem is, but if it's a situation, I'm everywhere. My ad address of where I'm at, is, I'm, I'm, I post it, you know what I mean? I don't have security or anything of that nature. He kind of threw a shot at ARP saying I don't walk around with bodyguards with M16s. and You know what I mean? I definitely caught that shot there. You know, Hitman, you kind of like he keyed on that, you know what I'm mean? saying? But, you know, at, at the end of the day, man, it's like Verb is putting himself in a really, really tough predicament. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, bro. I don't know what your situation is with ARP, but ARP is not booking no big battles. Uh, URL is definitely never probably fucking with you. Remy Crone 23, I don't know what that situation is. It all depends on how your relationship is with Easy, because Easy pretty much is like the catalyst there. You know, Remy bookings and shit like that. But I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know. We probably won't see Verb battling no time soon. Because the situation between Verb and Hitman is really, really bad, bro. It's like it's on site. Hitman said it's on site if I catch you. We're going to make an example out of you. Who's going to book that and risk, you know what I'm saying, their event, their venue from being shut down or, you know what I mean, or chaos erupting? Nobody's going to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. But like I said, for me personally, I took two things from this BZ coming into this live. You know what I'm saying? That Hitman and Murder Mook is definitely going to happen sometime this year, probably end of the year, and we could possibly see a, a, a truce between RBE, ARP, and URL Smack and Beasley, man. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Am I tripping? Am I looking into this, this, this shit a little too deep? Let me know, because that's how I feel, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's written on the wall for it to happen. But we'll see what happens, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments section. Subscribe to the channel. Hey, I appreciate all the love for everybody subscribing to the channel, man. I really appreciate that, man. Big salute to y'all, man. I'm out. Peace.